Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm sorry I haven't really been uploading as much as I used to. Uh, I've been really busy in terms of school and sports, so I haven't really had the time to upload new videos, and I just ordered a new microphone, and it just came today. So I'm excited to make a video for you guys with my new microphone. Now, today, I'm going to be reviewing Grizzly at King's Dominion, if you couldn't already tell from the thumbnail and, well, the footage in the background here. Located at King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia, Grizzly was built in 1982 and was built by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters, or PTC for short. The stats of Grizzly are nothing special, as it has a length of 3,150 feet and a height of 87 feet. This past April break, I had the chance to visit four parks along the East Coast. Six Flags Great Adventure, King's Dominion, Six Flags America, and Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Now, before I actually went to King's Dominion, I hadn't heard a ton of people actually talking about Grizzly. Grizzly was often a coaster that I always seemed to forget existed at King's Dominion. Grizzly is just buried under a world-class roller coaster lineup, and that's why I seem and most people seem to forget about it. Combine that with its location all the way in the back of the park, Grizzly almost seems redundant. A lot of the GP also forget that this ride exists because throughout my entire day at King's Dominion, even when it was crowded, Grizzly was always a walk-on. Your experience on Grizzly starts as you enter through the ride's gift shop. This is kind of an odd way to enter through an attraction, but I guess it's cool. It does have one really cool bear statue in there that I do kind of like. Then, once you exit the gift shop, you head into the ride's queue line. Now, this queue line is surrounded by trees, and it almost feels like you've actually left the park. Besides the ride setting in a forest, Grizzly has virtually no theming. I mean, I guess it does have this really cool bear statue at its ride's entrance, but other than that, it's pretty much nothing. You then walk on to Grizzly because this ride never gets a line, and then board the two bench PTC trains. I know a lot of people really dislike the individual PTC lap bars, but I've never personally had a problem with them, as they've never seemed to inhibit the ride's airtime. Once your seatbelt and lap bar are checked, you take a left-hand turn out of the station and ascend the ride's lift hill. While on the lift hill, you get a good view of the forest that surrounds. But that lift hill might just be the best part of this ride. So far in this review, I haven't really shown too much of my opinions on the ride itself, but here we go, and let me just give you a little heads up, they're not going to be pretty. You then roll down the first drop, and then you hit your first valley. To be honest, this valley wasn't as bad as I was expecting, though you still did get a good amount of jackhammering. Then you enter one of the world's worst turnaround elements. Not because it's rough, no, I actually thought this was the smoothest part of the ride, but because of how boring it is. You absolutely crawl through this turnaround, and there isn't a hint of laterals mixed in there. After you've aged quite a bit, you then drop back down, and well, the ride sure as hell lives up to its theme. You then get quite a bit more jackhammering in the valley, until you go into what is my opinion, the worst moment on the ride and that is this right-hand turn underneath the ride structure. I don't know if I've said this before on my channel, but Wildcat at Lake Compounds is my least favorite roller coaster in the entire world. Now, what is Wildcat mostly made up of? Yes, that is banked airtime hills that are low to the ground, and those are easily its worst moments. Not even the comfy Millennium Flyers could soften that blow, but Wildcat is, uh... It's a story for another time. You then violently slam side to side as you go through probably the worst turn I've ever experienced on a coaster. I mean, the least this turn does is actually provide some decent laterals. But combine that with how rough this turn is, and it doesn't really work at all. You then rise up into the ride's second turnaround, and let me just tell you, this one is nothing like the first. When you enter this turnaround, you get an insanely violent jolt of laterals, and those laterals are sustained throughout the entirety of that element. 
but the jackhammering is still there. At this moment, I was trying to keep my back as straight as I could because I didn't want to hurt it like I did on Boulder Dash. You then roll through another awful valley before going into another treacherous, low to the ground, banked airtime hill. What's going through my mind at this moment is just make it stop. Please just make it stop. <laughs> You then rise up into the ride's third turnaround, actually getting a pretty good pop of airtime before another insane lateral jolt. This turnaround is almost exactly like the first, though it's twice the speed of the first. You then drop back down and rattle through another airtime hill, which actually has some decent floater airtime, though I couldn't tell because I was too busy getting my brains bashed, but then you go into another low to the ground banked turn before entering the final breaks and hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So what would I rate Grizzly at King's Dominion? I would give Grizzly a 3 out of 10. Those three points are strictly before its airtime moments and its nice setting. I know there's a ton of Grizzly fans out there and I get it, the ride has good laterals and some pretty good airtime moments, but I made the mistake of riding both of my times near the back of the train and I should really ride in the front seat next time I go to King's Dominion. But for now, this ride sits in my bottom 5 coasters that I've ridden and it's going to be there pretty much until I ride it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I haven't uploaded in a while and I am really sorry for that, but I managed to get this video up for you guys and there's going to be a lot more reviews coming to you soon on Coasters in Perspective. Now, I hope you guys all have a nice day or night depending on when this video is opened and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.